Look at that. Yes. And there's a beautiful spoon. I'm sitting in the steam room. Wow, no, I came out of the steam room and I'm sitting in the um, sauna. You know, I really like um, self care. Self care is important. I'm not really loving the steam room. No, the sauna. It's not hot enough. I need hot, hot. <sighs> not complaining. Just sharing. So I wanted to talk about the importance of self-care, especially when you're traveling. It's so important to nurture yourself. Um, when you're moving around and you are sleeping in different beds, different hotels, it's important to nurture yourself. Find something that you do at home that grounds you. What grounds me is going to the steam room. It's going for steaming. You know, I love going for steaming and steaming my face and just sitting there and steaming and using my, um, my, um, what is it? Coffee scrub on my face. So I really like that. And it doesn't matter where I am in the world. I always find a place to go and steam and use the um, sauna because it's self-care and I don't okay you don't really have to spend a lot of money when you do this especially when you go to the Korean spots so here's a secret if you're traveling throughout even America there is a lot of Korean spots even Europe you just go to either the where the Russian people are or where the Asian people are and you find a Korean spa this is not this is an Indian spa um, but you find it where there's a Korean spa. And if there's a Korean spa, you know that you can steam the whole day. You can sit in the sauna for the whole day. And it's one price. This is what I like about Korean spas. Some spas, like this one, it's like hourly rate. Not really hot on that. Um, but it's just different. Indian spas are different. They're different than um, Thai spas and Korean spas. I really love Korean spas and Thai spas because you can sit for six hours and just steam it out. It's really good to steam your face, steam your skin. Um, I don't have the sinus anymore, you know. Well, I still do, but it's not as bad because I was sitting in the steam and I just <sighs> getting all the steam out. So to stay grounded while you're traveling, it's so, so important to... Do one thing or two or three things that you always do at home. So my three things are I always meditate. Now I can go to the temple and meditate with the monks. And it just grounds me. Every morning at six, I'm out at the temple. And in the afternoon, I'm out at the temple meditating. It grounds me. It just keeps me just zen out. And then... Um, once a week or twice a week, I will go and steam. It, you know, you still have to be like fancy, fancy spiritual teacher, fancy nun. Seriously. <laughs> fancy nun. Fancy nun. Yeah. And then steaming and sauna. I really like enjoy that. And it doesn't really cost that much money. Um, and then the other one is finding bookstores. I really love finding bookstores. And I don't really buy a lot of books. I'll look at the bookstore and see what's available. And then if I really like any of the books, I'll buy them on Kindle because then I can just carry them on my iPad or I can just read on my phone. I don't know how to carry a book. I can't carry books. 
I'm always overweight at the airport. And I never check in bags. I'm always a carry-on kind of girl. <laughs> Even international travel, I'm always doing carry-on. So I can't afford to buy books because then I have to check in a bag and I don't want to check in a bag. So I will always go to the bookstore and find a book that I like or if I don't like anything. Sometimes I just sit there at the bookstore and just read books the whole day. It's something that I really enjoy doing. And on the island that I live on, there's no bookstores. Actually, I found one bookstore, but it's like sells children children's books. And I was just like, wow, interesting. So I've always loved going to bookstores and finding books that I love to read. When I live on an island that doesn't have a bookstore. <laughs> so now that I'm in the city, I can read books and I can go to the bookstore. Um, I have been going to the Dalai Lama bookstore, the temple. There's a temple bookstore and okay, it sells mostly the Dalai Lama's books. <laughs> But there's a lot of books on emotional intelligence, um, some books from different authors from all over the world. So that has been fun. Three things I love doing. Mm -hmm. What are they? Steaming and sauna. <laughs> Steaming and sauna, meditation and reading. So what are your three things that you love doing every week that are non-negotiable? That are absolutely and non-negotiable, whether you would travel internationally, whether you travel to a different city, whether you would stay home and not travel. It's always so important to ask yourself, what are your three non-negotiables for towards joy? If I don't read every day, I don't feel good. If I don't meditate, I definitely don't feel good. And if once a week I don't go to the spa and just have time out for myself, I absolutely don't feel good. And now I figured out that if one... I'm still waiting for the steam to get hot. Finally getting out. While I'm waiting for the sauna to get hot, I can do a video because it's not going to melt my camera. So now I've done about six minute video. Great. And then six minutes, the steam in the sauna has started to get really, really hot. Great. I'm, I killed two birds with one stone. I did a video. I'm sitting in the steam room and I'm looking so pretty. Looking so pretty, look at that. Looking so pretty. Mm, beautiful skin. Yes, beautiful skin. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much for joining me on my spa session. <laughs> my spa day. Yeah, spa day. Actually, yeah, I went to the laundry. I was I left my stuff at the laundry, my nun clothes at the laundry. And um I had to do some laundry. So, because I had to do some laundry, I thought, why not just go to the spa? Because the spa was like five minutes away from the laundry mat. Yeah. So, get busy. Always plan out your time. And make sure that everything that you do <laughs> is planned out. I refuse to not plan out my time. I think it's a waste of time to just like sit around and do what? Yeah. So, I came to the spa while I wait for my laundry. And I'm going to take a shower after this and go back to get pick up my laundry. Then back to the hotel. And then go to meditation class at seven. Wonderful life. So I'm thinking, let's do a meditation so that we use our time wisely, you know. And then we've had a chat about being in the steam room and, you know, going out um, to do laundry and stuff like this. Let's use our time wisely. I'm going to do a five minute meditation with you. And we're just going to breathe in dynamic movement meditation. Sit and relax. Let our body just... You know what I'm saying? Relax and let the mind connect with the body and let the spirit be love. Let's do this. Let's do this.
Thank you for joining me in my five minute meditation. Make sure that you use your time wisely. All the time, use your time wisely. Thank you.